day one of oh. Vlog Ish Miss. Jingle bells. Today we are explaining Christmas history. It's kind of like Vlogmas, but we're not vlogging. We have these characters right here. So what we're trying to do is we are going to try, try to tell their the story. Christmas story. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do how each character got to the birth of Jesus Christ. Jesus it's gonna be the last person's job to make sure that they end up in the city, which is gonna be the really super hard part because So we'll like switch off who starts first. Yeah, so it's gonna be like the first person is gonna be more about like the this is who they are. The second person is gonna be more about like, oh, this is kind of a background story. And then the last person is gonna be this is how they're Should each person get 15 seconds? Sure. First we have the goat. Once upon a time there was a goat. And he was just walking along the road, and all of a sudden he realized that there was a calling for him in life and that he really needed to get to a city called Jerusalem. Okay, he was walking around this city, he was like, I don't know what to do. He was climbing a mountain, that's what goats do. He, was, he just kept on climbing, he found some apples. He ate those apples, okay? He, he kept walking, he was like, who, who could, need, who could like, eat these apples? Like, who needs them? And, like, then he thought to himself, I know who needs these. My brother, Moses. He needs the, these apples. So I'm gonna walk all the way to Jerusalem and give him these apples. And what's this? A big cow? Oh my god, who is that? Jesus. Once upon a time, there was a horse, okay? He was busy carrying people around all day, pulling people. He was like, just pulling all them bitches. He was like, you know what? I'm done with this. Like, I'm done. You know what? These people, they, they got legs. I got legs. They can carry them on, like, they can carry themselves. He quit. So he decided he was gonna find a new job because he didn't want to take this shit from everybody else. So he he's walking down the road, right? And then he sees this little bitch and he's just like, I don't like goats. So he walks the other way, the opposite way. And he finds himself at the other end of the city where goats landed. But then he heard screaming and he followed them. So with all the screams that he heard, he was like, oh no, I need to go and help because I'm a horse and I realized that I can carry people if I really have to. Then he sees the goat again and he's like, shoot, I guess I really just have to get along with them and pretend to be the Christmas spirit. So Buddha was in China and was like, I'm sick of all these people being smarter than me and having tiny nipples. And it just makes me feel uncomfortable. So I'm gonna move all the way to America and I'm gonna find myself a horse and a goat and I'm gonna end up over here. All right, so he was just magically walking around one day and he's like, okay, so I'm really sick of all the Chinese food and I really, really, really like to get some American food since I'm in America now, or no, Israel now. Um, so he made it to the... <laughs> So in America, Buddha hopped on a plane at LAX, and then he went all the way over to Jerusalem, and then he was just like, you know what, I'm carrying this big old pot of ashes of all the dead, and so he walked over there and he sprayed them on everybody here, including the goat and the, the horse. So next we have the man from Africa. The reason that he's from Africa is because he thinks that he heard about the the um, Asian guy, and they're like, okay, we really, we really need to represent the whole entire world. So he's like, okay. I, I heard a calling and I, I, for some reason we need to go to Jerusalem. Okay, so he went to Jerusalem to, you know, represent Africa, represent his hometown. And he came there holding this vase full of water from Africa and he thought that the people would drink the water from Africa and that would magically turn them into a club. This did turn them into a club. They were called Jesus and the Squad. <laughs> So he brought this water to his club, and they all drank it while Jesus was being birthed. So next we have the Japanese bearded lady. Um, she, <laughs> she was in Japan one day, and she was digging, just digging, digging, digging. She did not want to be in Japan anymore. She was digging. She found treasure. Okay, she was like, I need to share this treasure with the world. Boom. So she was like, so, yeah. she's like, me and my bearded lady just need to make our way to somewhere where. People need this treasure. They need to appreciate this. People in China don't appreciate it. Japan, Japan don't appreciate this because they have enough treasure themselves. So I'm gonna go all the way to Jerusalem, maybe. All right. So she gets on a so she gets on an airplane and she makes her way to Jerusalem and she and she realizes that uh, the Christ of God is being born and that they probably need a lot of money since he's being basically born in a barn. So they walk all the way over and the, and she gave all of her own personal earned treasure. So this guy has been walking around for like three days looking for his goat, and then he hears um, this man from a, um, from another town say that he saw a goat and the boys walked together to Jerusalem. So he's like, oh, no, 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 no. 
on his journey, he was really, he was thinking about, oh my gosh, I can't believe how good my goat is to be making this long, super long way all the way over to Jer to Jerusalem to help this newborn baby. And that's the way I raised him. I'm really super happy about him and what this new is. So he's just like, he's looking for his goat. He's like, maybe the way downtown, walking fast, bitches pass. Like, he doesn't even care about them though. He's like, I'm looking for my goat. <laughs> my goat's the only thing I care about. Here's, here's some vine. He finds his goat. He finds his goat. Stands like a goat and camel, of course. Next, we have the Son of God, who, no, no, of God. <laughs> yeah, a guy who's really super good, his name is Moses, and he's really super happy, and he is just, all he thinks about is his wife, and how he really wants her to get to a barn, or I mean to a hotel, to have a baby. Okay, this man is very holy, he has never had sex with his wife, so he's like, just baffled about how Mary got his baby inside her, she, he's like, I don't know how this happened, but I'm gonna support her, because I am a nice guy with a beard, and he looks beard too. Real cool. He goes to find out people's beard, they join a club. In this club, which is a little squad, they, um, raise this child together. Once it's born, but not yet, because it's not born yet. <laughs> well, five seconds left to spare. <laughs> um, the Virgin Mary, of course, how she get here, no one knows. She she's she's pregnant magically by God. Impregnated her, impregnated her. Um, so she's like her water broke. She's limping everywhere and then her. everyone starts limping, they just fall over because her water broke. And she's just like Please help me. And then they all get back up and they help her. Alright, so then she realized that there's all these really super nice people around to help her and that they're really super nice to be traveling all this way just for her. Um, so she's just really happy to have this baby and just can't wait. And then Moses goes up to her and they just party. And they just wait to her. <laughs> so Jesus pops out. Oh no, he's in the womb. And he can hear Mother Mary. <laughs> he can hear her singing to him. And then all of a sudden, <gasps> Alright, so they're very super happy, and Mary is just really happy that she has the Son of God, and that she, but she's really worried that some people might not appreciate for her, not appreciate him, because he is the Son of God, and some people don't believe in her, and so she's just, you know, just Okay, Jesus is real confused, all the people here, he's like, I don't know any of you, I'm not invited, and he's like, any of you, you need to leave, I don't know any of you, but he's like, you know what, I'm a holy baby. I'm gonna accept all of you for who you are, and then pretty soon, you don't know, I'm gonna die for you. Alright, so all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she comes down from the heavens and is like, Oh my gosh, this baby, I'm here from God, and I just want to tell you that, that you're the son of God, and that you are going to be very important to God. Yeah, she's like... I have a special message. Message. I'm like, I'm God's homegirl. I'm here to just like be his messenger, send his mail from up above. And I'm gonna bless you, baby, because you a special baby. You know, you got a great thing for you, baby Jesus. You better be hashtag blessed, or God is gonna be very, very disappointed in you. And now I'm gonna sing for you. All right. So, well, that was it for. Um, that's how everybody came together. And that's how to everybody came together. <laughs> On the first day of August, Miss Night, you love gave to me. The skin gas, bitch, asshole.